In this video, I'm going to walk you through the unit Set Up Your Org. This is the first unit in the module Lightning Experience Customization. I will walk you through the entire steps because in this case, the hands-on challenge and all the activities that come up in this unit are one and the same. Up until now, if you've been following along with the Salesforce Administrator Trail Mix, you've done a lot of security things. All of that stuff has been happening pretty much in the back end. You know, the thing that the user doesn't really see. This lightning experience customization is where we start to customize the fields and the experience that the user actually gets involved with and interacts with. Okay, by way of background, let's read through this. Ursa Major Solar is expanding its energy consultation business and offering personalized energy assessments to its customers, but Ursa Major Solar doesn't have a place to track and manage the results. Using custom objects and fields, Maria, that's the Salesforce administrator here, is going to build an energy consulting app, and in that case, that's also us. By creating a custom object called Energy Audit and creating a few custom fields for it, Ursa Major Solar can track information on its customer's energy usage and recommend which type of solar panel installation is a good fit. We're gonna follow Maria's footsteps and we're gonna get into that right now. Create a custom object. Salesforce provides standard objects and fields for common business record types, such as accounts, leads, and contacts. But every organization is unique and needs a way to tailor how its data is stored. Ursa Major Solar is no different Custom objects and fields give them a way to manage and store data to best fit their needs. And I feel like I say this a lot, but it's this is like a little bit of an understatement. The fact that Salesforce is able to be extended with custom objects, unique ways of tracking information for a business is what makes Salesforce so freakishly powerful because it can be customized to do anything the business needs to do. As a Salesforce administrator, it's really important that you keep that in mind and sort of like that it's really not about the technology, it's about what the technology can do to solve a business problem. Being aware that Salesforce can be configured to do anything is really helpful in making you be able to make recommendations in terms of, hey, we could do this, we could do that. At the same time, you only want to create the custom objects that are actually necessary to be created. You don't want to create and introduce more complexity than nece absolutely necessary. So let's go into this. So from the object manager in setup, I think I told you once that at one point we're gonna stop telling you how to get to setup. That point has come. Um, we're going to click Create and Custom Object. And the label is going to be Energy Audit. Starts with a vowel sound, Energy Audits. Select the box to indicate that it starts with a vowel sound. In the Search Status section, select Allow Search. Select Launch New Custom Tab Wizard after saving this custom object down here. I've skipped that before. Leave the rest of the values as they are and click save. Easy. Okay, so that part is done. Now we have an object, but there's nothing on it yet. But first, create a custom object tab. Maria's created a custom object, but she needs a way to make it easily accessible to her users. Create a custom tab for a custom object is a great way to do that. Okay, basically uh, what we're gonna do now is just pick a style for this. Click tab, tab style icon and select sun. Then click next, next. And then, choose custom apps. You want the, cust the new custom tab to be available in. For now, let's make the tab visible for just the sales user. Deselect include tab and select only standard lightning sales. So we're gonna deselect this. And the only one we're gonna select is sales. There's two sales ones, we want the lightning sales. Okay, so that should do it, click save. Now you can see details of their energy audit custom object. Okay, cool, create custom fields. At this point, this is just a blank object. It's got nothing on it. So we need some fields on it so it's useful. You could sort of think like a blank object is sort of like a blank tab in a spreadsheet. It's just 
they are for information. So the fields is going to be our rows that we're going to then add on. So there's information there. Fields and relationship, click new. Choose pick list and then as the field type and click next and we're going to name it type of installation. And then enter values, each separated by a new line. So we could have a rooftop, carport, or ground mounted. I hate typing, by the way. Which is odd because as a I'm like a professional writer, but still I just like typing. Use select use the first value <clears throat> as a default value, then click next. We're going to keep restrict pick lists to this selected because we don't want them entering something else in. Leave the field level security settings as they are and click next. Okay, so this is who it's available to. Um, which if you remember your security stuff, you'll remember configuring that. And leave energy audit layout selected and click save. And this is the page layout that this is now going to become available for. Okay, that one's not quite enough. All right, so we have to just create these other fields. I'm going to fast forward through this. That's it. Okay, so if you think about it, what we've just now done, and here we're just gonna click save. What we've done now is added on all these fields onto the energy audit object. So now it's pretty useful because it's got this information that we need to track. Create energy audit records. Okay, an object has nothing without records to fill it out. Well, it's still something, but. Prior to implementing Salesforce, Ursa Major Solar was tracking audits in a spreadsheet of oh, the horror. Part of Maria's job as the admin is to enter those audit records in Salesforce, and we use them later in this module. Let's get to it from the app launcher. Find and select energy audits, click new. Okay, let's do this. New, okay. Burlington evaluation. Type is rooftop, that's selected. Average cost is 1.86. Kilowatt hours is 23. By the way, um, here's our help desk that we entered, which is cool. Like, now you see how it works together. Um, these numbers seem small, fine. Account. Burlington Textiles Corp of America. So this is a lookup thing. This is already one that's in there. We should be able to find it and select it. If that didn't work for you, it's probably not typed properly. Oh, hit type Burlington. Click save and new, and then we're gonna do a couple more. Okay, so now, um, let's see, we should be able to go back into this and click on to enter energy audits. And now we've got these folks right here. Um, so that's cool. We've done that. We've created this. Okay. Um, that's it, folks. We created an object. We added fields on that object. And then we fill that in with a couple of examples.